Ahoy hoy! Uh, I think everything is working. Uh, if so, if so, if you can hear me, uh, let me know uh, where you're watching this from. I have a, uh, 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 an, uh, an idea that most people are from Montreal, but uh, if you're from Laval, that'd be great because you're going to need this uh, information. Uh, yes, um, this is it. Montreal total solar eclipse. Not the thing right now, but the thing that's going to get you ready for it. Uh, in about a year from now. So that's all it's going to be uh, about. Uh, my name's Trevor. You probably know that maybe already. If you don't, hello. My name is Trevor. That's what I look like uh, in the summertime about four or five years ago. Um, I run a little thing here in Montreal called Plateau Astro. Again, maybe you already know this. Uh, it's based in Montreal. Why else would I be talking about the solar eclipse in Montreal? Um, I do a few things. I'm going to get right into... The meat of this presentation uh, in a moment, but just going to mention a few things that I do beforehand. I make videos. You might be watching this on YouTube, and I make videos here, uh, videos about astronomy and, and what it means in Montreal and all that. Uh, so I do that. So if you enjoy Montreal and, and, and learning about astronomy, uh, uh, you should totally subscribe to this YouTube channel. If you hear a dog, uh, the dog uh, Scout is right at my feet, but hopefully he'll he'll calm down uh, in a second here. I'm sure he will. I also do presentations. I do presentations uh, in schools uh, uh, and libraries uh, and all that. Uh, so if you have a need for a presentation, hey, get in touch. Uh, I'd be happy to uh, to do that. I also do workshops here in 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 Montreal. Uh, 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 I show people how to use astronomy apps, how to look at the sunset differently, how to see the space station. There's photos of me uh, showing people all sorts of things about uh, workshops. I also do birthday parties, do private events. So if you have a need, if you have a wedding coming up and you want a telescope to uh, have people enjoy this guy on your wedding, hey, I am your guy. If you need to distract kids for a while at a wedding, I do that. Okay, let's get to the uh, eclipse stuff. Let's do it. Uh, there we go. Yes, let's get to it. Um, again, this is all about the eclipse happening in Montreal. Total solar eclipse happening in Montreal, April 8th, next year. Why are you doing this so soon? Why Why would you prepare us almost a year in advance, Trevor, for this uh, uh, eclipse? April 8th, 2024 is when it'll happen. That is 358 days from now. Why are you doing this so soon? What is your problem, uh, Trevor? A lot of things are already like booked up. If if you go to Sherbrooke, which is, I'll talk a little about where you should go and see this uh, eclipse for the best spot. There's like hotels that are already like booked up. You can't even get a hotel uh, there. So uh, uh, things are already starting to be booked up in advance. So the point of this is to like get this on your radar. Hence the radar uh, uh, photo there. There, there, there. Um, just so you're aware of what's coming up, because you might need to plan uh, in advance for this. I got seven things, seven, seven, seven things. I swear this will be under 40 minutes, let's say. This might be about half an hour or so. Seven things. Here is the plot outline. Spoiler alert for all this. First thing, what is a total solar eclipse? I'll go through that. I'm sure if you're here, you probably know what it is, but people maybe don't know. Uh, two, where will you see it? I'll show you where we'll be able to see it. Good repetition. Um, number three, when will this happen? I said the date before, April 8th, 2024. But I'll give you the exact time that everything will happen. What will we see? Uh, speaking of what will we see, let's make this bigger. What will we see, even if it's cloudy? What will we see on that day? What do you need? What equipment do you need? Unique challenges uh, for uh, Montreal. Uh, uh, Montreal is sort of in a weird scenario for this one. I want to show you... Some of the things we got to consider when we're watching this here in Montreal and sort of my recommendations. I have tried to see two, count them, two uh, solar eclipses, one in Nunavut in 2008 and one in Nashville in 2017. Both times it was clouded out. So third one, hopefully that will be a uh, work out for me. All right. If you have any questions, you can totally put those in the chat. And then at the end, I will try to answer uh, them all. So let's do it. First thing, first thing, what is a solar eclipse? Uh, I will fix my video. There we go. Okay. Um, what is a solar eclipse? Okay. Uh, didn't, and didn't we just have an eclipse? Okay. Like uh, we've had quite a few eclipses here in Montreal. What's the deal? What's the deal? We had a few lunar eclipses uh, here in, in, in Montreal. 
just what's that six or so months ago back in november we had a lunar eclipse and it was clear here in montreal a miracle we also had another lunar eclipse in may almost a year ago uh and it was clear for the first half so uh, we're, we're eclipse runs have been pretty pretty good here uh there's some photos of uh uh, uh, uh us watching the eclipse at parc gen Mons. you can see a group of people there and you do not see the cops that uh, tried to break it up as we first started uh, the eclipse. But there it is. You can do this. You can do this. So those are lunar eclipses. We've had a few lunar eclipses here in, in Montreal. Solar eclipse. Solar eclipse. Didn't we also just recently have a solar uh, eclipse in Montreal? We did. We did just have a solar eclipse back in June 2021, less than two years ago. But that one was a partial solar eclipse. Partial, partial, partial solar eclipse. And it kind of looked like this, if you had the right equipment. Somebody's asking about eclipse classes uh, in the chat. I'll definitely talk about that sort of at the end there. This is kind of what it looked like. Uh, it, this looks kind of odd. If you don't know what you're looking at here, uh, eclipses can be sort of strange to look at. Basically, this part is the sun right there, that bright part there. And that sort of black voidy part right there, that is the moon. And this is what a solar eclipse is, the moon blocking out, uh, blocking out the sun. With, with, with that eclipse last time in June 2021, the moon didn't fully block out the sun. And that's why we call it a partial solar eclipse. So the moon didn't fully block it out, okay? Here's sort of an animation of what kind of happened there. You kind of see it didn't fully block out the sun. Almost, almost, almost from here in Montreal. But it didn't fully block it out. But it was still a great time. We had a bunch of people come to the park. We're in eclipse classes. This was very early in the morning, like five in the morning or so. Uh, people came uh, in June. It was warm. It was clear. It was great. But what's coming up in uh, next year uh, is a total solar eclipse. Let me get my video back there. Uh, maybe I'll just stop that camera. Oh, uh, there I'm back. Okay, we'll have a total solar eclipse where the moon will totally block out the sun. So this is kind of what it's going to look like. Here's an animation of it. The moon, the moon is blocking it, blocking it, blocking it. And then right there, it almost perfectly blocks it out. Of course it does. It perfectly blocks it out. And boom, darkness, darkness uh, everywhere, okay? And uh, there's a point during the eclipse where you can take off your eclipse glasses. I'll talk about that in a second. And you get to see this, okay? You get to see this. And you see, I pointed out in the arrows here, sort of these like little flares, okay? We call this the solar corona. You get to see sort of the atmosphere, if you will, of the sun like this. It's really cool. I've not seen it, but I'm told it's really, 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 really cool. Um, so hopefully this is what we're gonna see uh, 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 next year. I've been told, even for people who aren't religious, it's like a religious experience. Um, so I, I, I hope to one day, maybe the third time next year, it'll, it'll work for me. I know in journalism, they'll often say with space and astronomy stories, like once in a lifetime thing, this time for real, uh, 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 we're not joking this time. This is a uh, once in a lifetime uh, experience. So you should not miss this one, especially if you're in Laval. <laughs> uh, you should totally make the trek. And we'll talk about that in a second. Where will you see it? Where will you see uh, the eclipse? Here is a map. I'll make this bigger for everybody here. Here is a map of where you have to be in order to see uh, the eclipse, or see that reddish, bluish uh, line uh, there. You have to be in this path in order to be able to, to see it. We call it the path of, uh, of totality. Path of totality. You're going to hear that word over and over and over again over, the, over the, next, the next year. This is kind of what it looks like, okay? And as you sort of zoom in, you see that red line, and you see this blue, this blue line uh, in, in the middle there. That is called the center the center line. And the center line is sort of the best place to go and see the eclipse where you have the longest amount of time, which I'll talk about in a second, to see, uh, to see the eclipse. Um, and so what I want to do is I want to show you a map because this is going to be very, very important uh, for Montreal. I'll put this 
uh, link into the chat too. So if you need to copy it, I'll put that right, right there. Okay, uh, I'm gonna load this up. I'll stop sharing that screen. Just gotta do a little bit of uh, magic here. Share screen, share this. I think that should, oh, okay, all right. And if I go like that, there. I think you can, I'll test, I can zoom in. Yes. Okay, I think it's all it's all uh, it's all working. Okay, so this uh, line right here again, this is called the path of totality. So here you need to be able to you need to be in this path in order to get the full the full uh, the full effect here. So you know places in Mexico will be able to see it. Uh, places in the southern United States, in the sort of uh, the uh, 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 Texas and Missouri, Illinois, all those places. But here in Canada, we're also going to be able to see it. Okay. So places like Hamilton, Ontario, Kingston, Ontario, but let's zoom in to Montreal and you can see that Montreal, it's in the path of totality, but I'll get a little bit closer, 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 just barely just barely in the path of totality. In fact, not all of Montreal is in the path of totality. So this sort of grayish area here, that's the path of totality. This part here is not, and they're not gonna get the full experience. And that full experience, it makes, it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a world, world, world of difference, okay? I'm just gonna keep zooming in a little bit here just to show you, and I, this is, maybe kind of a little bit of an estimate. Okay, but it's pretty accurate. You can see if if you're uh, uh, not in the correct place, okay? So if you're at say Park Frederick back, the one with all the goofy little white balls in the park everywhere, that is not in the path of totality. So if you live here, you're gonna miss out on the full experience. But if you live here, you uh, will get the full experience, but uh, maybe I'll tell you in a little bit why you should kind of consider being uh, uh, a little bit closer. So this map is really, really helpful. Okay. So there's going to be parts of Montreal that won't be able to see it. And if you're in Laval, uh, you know, you gotta, you gotta, gotta be ready uh, because uh, uh, it's, uh, uh, you're gonna have to make your way into Montreal in order to, to, to get the, 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 the full experience. So I put that link into the chat there. I'm going to stop this screen, bring my slides back one second. Okay. All right. So there's my slides, okay? So again, not all of Montreal is gonna be able to see uh, uh, the total solar eclipse. So I made this map last year. Uh, and so this blue part, if you're in there, you're gonna be able to see it. If you're in the red part, you'll still see some eclipse, but not the total thing. And what you want is the full total, uh, total experience. So again, sorry, uh, Laval, here's that meme. Sorry, Laval. How long will totality last, okay? Um, so during a solar eclipse, the moon blocks out the sun and it does it for a couple couple of minutes, okay? Uh, each eclipse is a little bit different in how long it's, uh, it, it lasts for, but it's usually on the order of a couple a couple of minutes. And this actually makes sort of a big, uh, a big difference uh, uh, with Montreal's case. The rule of thumb, and it's not really a rule of thumbs, I just made it up. <laughs> Well, it's a rule of thumb. The closer you are to the center of the path of totality, the longer totality is going to last. So the closer you are to that blue line that I showed before, and I'll show again in a second, the longer uh, it is it is going to uh, going to last. So uh, I'll just sort of demonstrate this with that that website once again. Just give me a second to change uh, interactive map there. Okay, so you see that there. I'm just going to zoom out and I'll, I'll show you how this sort of works. Maybe it'll help you sort of plan things. So this blue line, okay? If you're here, this, you're going to have the longest amount of time seeing totality, the moon blocking out the sun. And it's a tremendous moment, so you don't want to miss it. So I'm just going to tap uh, or click right here, and it'll tell me, uh, you know, this, this location is in the path. The eclipse here is total. The nearest town in our database is whatever that place is. And if I click here, it gives me all these details. So Browns Hill, Quebec, where I tapped on. Um, it shows me an animation of what it'll look like. It will be a total solar eclipse like that, okay? And then down below in this table right here, it says duration, duration. And three and a half minutes, that's how long 
the moon is going to block out the sun for. That's a pretty long time. That's a pretty long time uh, on, on uh, uh, the scale of, of solar eclipses. Three and a half minutes. So that's at the center, the center line. Uh, I'm going to go back to this page. I'm going to go a little bit closer in here. I'm going to click sort of near uh, maybe Saint-Jean-sur-Richelieu, Saint okay? Richelieu, Richelieu. Pronunciation there is not great today. I tap there. I'll show you the difference. It's, 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 it's further away from the center line, okay? And let's see the difference, okay? Uh, Saint-Jean-sur-Richelieu, it's, it's still in the, the path of totality. But because it's further away, look at the difference, okay? Before it was about three and a half minutes. And now it's about two minutes and 40 seconds, almost a minute, a minute less, okay? That's pretty, pretty substantial, okay? I'll go a little bit closer in here and I'll, I'll tap on Montreal and I'll, I'll do it in the plateau uh, where I, uh, you know, I, 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 I uh, used to hang around here quite a bit. So if you're in mile end and you watch this, you're going to still be in the path of totality. You'll still get the full experience. Boom. But your duration will only be one minute and five seconds. Okay. So where you decide to watch this does make a, uh, a, a, big, uh, a big difference. Okay. Let me uh, stop sharing that. So I, I went through a few different uh, places uh, that uh, uh, might, uh, you might watch this from just some examples. So the center line again, you get about three and a half minutes. Granby, you get about three minutes. If we go to Longai, okay, Longai, that took a while to spell. A lot of a lot of vowels in that one. You get about one minute and forty seconds. Okay. What about places specific in Montreal, Old Port, Plateau, or the Planetarium, which is like by the Botanical Gardens? Okay. How much of a difference does it make? Old Port, minute and a half, minute and twenty six seconds. If you're in the Plateau, which I just showed. You get about one minute and seven seconds, okay? Just that little bit, you get, what's that? Almost 20 seconds less totality. Planetarium, uh, ironically enough, uh, you get about 22 seconds. That's it of, of, of totality. So where you decide to watch this, even just in Montreal, even if it's in the past totality, does make a, 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 big, a big difference. So there's that. Okay. When will this happen? I've given you broad dates, April 8th, 2024. Okay. That is on a Monday. It's not on the weekend. Okay. It's not on Easter Monday. It's not on a, a, a holiday. And like that's on a Monday, April 2024. What time? Okay. It's in the afternoon. Okay. The entire eclipse process takes uh, a few a few hours, okay? Totality itself is just a few minutes, which I'll show in a second, okay? The eclipse starts about 2.15 p.m., so in the middle of the afternoon, middle of the workday, okay? Totality happens at about 3.28. This is in Montreal. For different places, it'll be different, but this is just for Montreal because this is what the whole stream is all about, okay? But 3.28 p.m. Again, totality here in Montreal lasts about two minutes or, or so, maybe a minute and a half, okay? The eclipse ends, the moon stops blocking at about 4.36. So just over two hours and 20 minutes is that's, that's the entire, that's the entire thing. Now again, this is a Monday. It is a, uh, it's a school day and totality happens around the time that school ends, around the time that school ends. So uh, 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 I have a section at the end, so it says like the challenges that Montreal is going to have to face. And this is going to be one of them, okay? The timing uh, of, of the day that this is gonna gonna happen. Okay, what will we see? What will we see? He's firing through these. Man, he's on four of seven already. Okay, I've put this into two sections. If it's clear and if it's cloudy. Okay, I'll start with clear because let's be hopeful. And the last, you know, April eighth, the uh, last week, it actually was clear, and the year before was clear. So maybe we'll get lucky. Okay, hopefully. Okay. So this is what we'll see. This is this is the start of it. You'll need to wear eclipse glasses during this. Uh, beginning part here, okay, as the moon first blocks out the sun, okay? So for the first hour and some change, you're going to see this. The moon will be blocking out the sun. You're going to have the eclipse glasses all the time until just before, right about here. You still have to have the eclipse glasses on, sorry. At totality, you can take them off, I'll show. At about this time, okay, maybe about 10 or 15 minutes before totality, it will start getting uh, getting dark, 
uh, noticeably dark around. It's almost like like nighttime, but a sort of strange sort of sort of darkness. Okay, strange darkness. Okay, it's it's, it's very very strange. The first time I watched it, it felt like the color saturation, like the knob had been turned down, something like that. It's a very sort of weird sort of uh, sort of darkness. Uh, I, I, there's this great Veritasium video where he, he made in 2017. You can kind of see it just looks kind of weird, uh, the color, the color in the background there. The second thing, the temperature will drop a few uh, degrees. Now, who knows what the temperature is going to be like in April? Uh, it, the weather's kind of wacky uh, uh, the last few weeks here. So, but the temperature does drop uh, 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 a few degrees. It's, it's quite noticeable. The other cool thing is shadows are all crescents. Okay, what does this look like? It looks like this. Let me go full screen. It looks, it's very, very weird. All the shadows have this sort of crescent shape there, of course, because the sun is, 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 is blocked out uh, uh, partially there. Very, very weird. Very, very strange. Um, animals start thinking it's nighttime. The last eclipse I, I watched was in Nashville. So there's like cicadas and stuff, and it was in the middle of August. So there's bugs everywhere. They think it's turning into nighttime. And they start doing their nighttime routines. I don't know what that'll be like here in Montreal. The squirrels and raccoons and stuff. Maybe who knows what they'll be acting like. But uh, animals start thinking it's 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 nighttime. The other thing is, this is very very odd. A three hundred and sixty degree sunset. What does this look like? I, I found this video just for uh, starting uh, this. It's uh, the, the sun is being blocked out in the middle above the sky above you. And this is kind of what it looks like. This guy took a drone and uh, sort of moves around like this. It's like a 360 degree sunset every direction. It's 360 degrees. Of course, it's every direction. Okay. Very, very, very strange. Uh, this, this sort of point of view. Okay. After... All that, the minutes leading up to it, it's very, very strange. Uh, it, crowds will be odd if you're watching watching it. Okay, The moon fully blocks out the sun. This is the part of totality. That's when you can take the eclipse glasses off. That's that's when it is time. It's safe that you can, you can do it and you can look at it. Again, I've never done this myself. I've been clouded out each time, but this is what it, it looks like. It looks like a black hole in the sky and, and you can see the corona uh, around it. So this will last about a minute and a half, as I said before, if you're in Montreal. Okay. The other thing during this moment, this minute and a half or wherever you're watching it, okay, you're going to see uh, uh, planets start to uh, appear. So for this one, for this eclipse, this is what it's going to kind of look like. You're going to be able to see uh, the sky. Sorry, the sun will be in the southwest sky. It'll be kind of high up in the sky, uh, actually. And you're going to be able to see Jupiter and Venus with the naked eye in the middle of the day. It's eerie, it's so weird. Uh, 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 it's, it's very, very strange. And maybe if you have a clear enough view, you might be able to see Mars and Saturn near the horizon uh, uh, for, that, uh, for that too. So you, you'll be able to see these, these bright dots in the sky. So it's, it's cool to like know this in advance of like, you can point it out to people, point it out to your kids. Yeah, those are the planets right there. Very strange. So totality ends. And then you got to put your glasses right back on. And then after a few minutes, it gets light again. And the eclipse goes the opposite way. The moon drifts away from the sun. And that's it. It's, it's done. All this prep work, all these years of waiting, and it is, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's done. It's over. And it's, I, when I was in Nashville, it was very strange to see it be over because everything turned back to normal very quickly. I was in the backyard of a bar and there's people just throwing eclipse glasses on the ground, on the tables, stuff like that. You walk on the street, you'll just see thousands of eclipse glasses just on the ground. It'll happen probably. Uh, hopefully there'll be programs to save these glasses and so kids can have them and stuff like that. So that's if it's clear. If it's cloudy and the almanacs say it's like a 70% chance that it will be cloudy, okay? Uh, hopefully we'll get, we'll, get, we'll get lucky. So maybe a one in three chance that we'll actually have clear. But if it's cloudy and you have to stay in Montreal and you can't go to a clear spot, it's not all doom and gloom, okay? Might be gloom, literally, but okay. The temperature will still drop, okay? It will get dark and it'll still get very weird. 
So if you find it's the day of the eclipse, it's 3 p.m., okay, and you're like, it's cloudy out there, I'm just going to stay inside. Don't. Still go outside, and it'll get very, very, very strange, and it'll still be an awesome thing to watch. I've had two eclipse glass, two eclipses ruined for me by clouds, so welcome to the club uh, if that happens. But it'll still be quite an experience. Okay, that's number four. I got three left, yeah. Number five, what do you need to be able to watch this? Somebody in the chat asked, where can we buy uh, Eclipse glasses in Montreal or online recommendations? Uh, yeah, you're gonna need Eclipse glasses uh, to be able to see this, okay? I did, uh, in fact, sell Eclipse glasses in 2020 and 2021 for the June 2021 uh, Eclipse. I have one or maybe two remaining pairs uh, around around the house, okay? I do plan on doing uh, another run of Eclipse glasses because everybody, there's always gonna be some person who's always gonna, gonna need them, okay? Proof, there was my beardy head right there uh, with, uh, with Eclipse glasses. Um, so I'll be selling them, I don't have them ready right now, but don't worry, there's lots of places that you can go and 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 uh, buy them. But if you want to hold off for a few months, I'll I'll have them I'll have them ready. But uh, uh, yeah, you will need Eclipse glasses for this. If you plan on taking photos uh, for this, you're going to need a camera solar filter uh, for this. If you're a camera dork, maybe you already know this. Okay, but you're going to have to have a special um, uh, sun filter, solar filter to put on your camera. Okay, especially if you want to take photos of uh, the moon blocking up the sun. You'll, you'll, you'll need that. And also sunscreen. <laughs> uh, if you're staring up at the sky and it is a clear day, uh, yeah, wear sunscreen. Uh, I call it the great, the great American sunburn when I was in, uh, in Nashville. Everybody was sunburned when I got back to the, the hostel. Uh, just hours upon hours of looking up at the sun. So make sure you have sunscreen. Um, uh, uh, places uh, where you can 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 buy them uh, uh, right now. I don't have to top my head. I don't uh, have uh, uh, a link to put in there, but uh, Maison d'Astronomie um, is a place here in Montreal. You can go in person. They sell a bunch of equipment and stuff like that. They probably have eclipse glasses there all the time. During uh, that, uh, around that time, there will be initiatives uh, put through you know uh, universities and nonprofits to dispense. Eclipse classes to libraries and community centers and, and, and stuff like that. Uh, so there will be chances to get possibly free pairs of glasses for, 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 for schools um, and, and groups and stuff like that. So you'll definitely have a time to, 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 to get them. Okay. Sunscreen. Yes. Have that right on there. Okay. Okay. Number six, unique challenges uh, for Montreal, okay? I showed this uh, earlier, okay? This eclipse is going to uh, like cut Montreal in half, okay? Uh, this is gonna be very, very strange uh, for, uh, for Montreal uh, and Laval and surrounding places uh, uh, for this to, 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 to happen, okay? As I said before, this is gonna be on a Monday. It's gonna be on a school day and it's gonna be in the middle of the afternoon, so I think, Montreal and Laval, they got to think about like, what do we do with these kids? Okay. Do we call it a day off? What do we, what do we sort of do? So Montreal has to be like very ready uh, 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 for this to happen. How do we dispense eclipse glasses to every kid? Okay. Again, uh, just so I don't get sued, uh, you need to be looking at the sun with the eclipse glasses, especially kids. Though what adult eyes, they're still as valuable, I suppose. Um, traffic from Laval, again, Look at this, okay? Here's Laval in the red, <laughs> Montreal there. There's gonna be a bunch of traffic coming from uh, Laval uh, in that morning, in that afternoon, okay? I could imagine there being companies in Laval that are like, okay, it's 1 p.m., uh, the eclipse starts in two hours. Drive over there, it'll be chaos, it'll be absolute chaos. And the city of Montreal has to be ready uh, for this, have a plan uh, in place. What are they gonna do with the metro system? I don't know. That's not my job, but I want to put it on their radar. They have to be have to be ready for this. If you uh, uh, are in Montreal and you want to see it somewhere else, like Sherbrooke or something like that, Montreal has to be ready for all that traffic moving out of Montreal. And apparently there's a tunnel. I don't drive enough. <laughs> apparently there's a tunnel that's under construction and we have to be ready for a bunch of traffic leaving the city. They've got to be uh, ready for that. Tourists. I was in Nashville in 2017. And I think the population of Nashville is normally about 500,000 people. 
And in the days around the event, I think it ballooned to something like about a million people were there. Uh, Montreal, probably not the best place to watch the eclipse, but there will be a bunch of tourists uh, around here. Uh, I wonder how it'll fare against like Grand Prix or something like that. Uh, but there's going to be a bunch of tourists in April, uh, which is probably not high season and probably not the season that Montreal is ready for a bunch of tourists to come in. So they got to gotta think about that. Weather, Jiminy, Christmas. Uh, it, 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 it was 24 degrees today, but nine days ago, there was an ice storm. Uh, is Montreal ready uh, for uh, something like that happening again uh, next year? What would happen if an ice storm happened the day before? I don't know. I don't know. But they got to be ready for that. There's probably a bunch of other things I could probably also mention here too, but those are the things I could think of. Uh, yeah, Montreal. We got to have a plan in place uh, uh, logistically. Uh, for uh, for all of this. All right, last one. Uh, my recommendations, and I could probably add a few more to these, but uh, here's just some that have come to uh, to to mind. Think about what what kind of experience you want. Uh, my girlfriend and I we were talking about this uh, today. Uh, uh, she's already seen one before. Okay. Uh, how, how are we going to, to do this? I, I think she has to go and see it at the university. Uh, maybe I'll join there. We'll see. But think about for you, where do you want to, to, to see this? Some people might want to watch it among a large crowd. When I was in Nashville, uh, the city like stood still and people were standing, you know, uh, on their balconies and there was helicopters flying by, uh, uh, it, people surrounding in the streets, looking up at the sky. That was a really cool experience, but I got to think for myself, what kind of experience do I want? Do I want to be hosting an event for that? I, 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 I don't quite, uh, quite, quite know. Or if you want the longest totality, the three and a half minutes versus a minute and a half here in Montreal, you're going to have to drive, uh, uh, near the central. Line. So maybe like around Sherbrooke or, 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 or something like that. Um, think about what kind of experience you want. Do you want to be, be like a quiet by yourself with your friends, with your family, okay, sort of experience, or do you want to be around a bunch of people? You got to think about kind of what experience uh, you want for that. Do you want to take photos uh, for this? Probably a little bit easier uh, on your own. Think about what kind of video you want to take if you're if you're into making videos for this. Buy equipment early. I think with eclipse glasses you should be okay because there's going to be a bunch of jackals in the street probably trying to sell you eclipse glasses. I don't know. That's why it was in Nashville. Okay. But if you're looking to get like solar filter equipment, think about that, getting that right now. So a lot of that's probably going to be sold out uh, in, uh, in, uh, in advance. So think about, think about that. To me, I would plan to have the day off uh, as a, as a worker, just so I had the entire day to like get ready for it. You know, uh, uh, if I need to drive somewhere, plan to have the day off, ask your boss to have the day off. Better yet, if you were a boss, Plan to give your employees, if not the entire day off, a couple hours off, okay? I think that that would be very, very good to do. Uh, uh, I, 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 I think probably most places, most stores and stuff will say and have signs on them, sorry, we're going to be closed from like 2.30 to 3.30 p.m. Uh, you're going to see that. If you're a boss, hey, totally plan that in advance. If you're a teacher or a principal, think right now how you want to, to do this. Maybe having kids off, that's like the best idea for it. I don't know. Um, if you have a car, watch the weather. Be prepared to change plans. Uh, 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 again, you might want to be away from Montreal uh, if uh, you plan to do this because the traffic is going to be kind of nutty. Um, so be prepared like where you want to be for this. Also, it's April. It could be snowy or it could be plus 24, okay? Uh, we don't know how it's, it's going to go. So be prepared to like change that uh, uh, where you're going to be. Last thing, sort of bask in it. Um, uh, it uh, I, uh, people enjoy eclipses in their own sort of, sort of way. Uh, I haven't done this, uh, but uh, if uh, you were taking photos, you probably want to watch this eclipse like yourself, like, like having the eclipse glasses off. These are my normal glasses, having the eclipse glasses off and then like watching and just sort of basking in it and making sure your camera is just like taking, taking photos. Okay. You don't want to be watching your screen the entire time, watch it and just take, uh, all, uh, all, all, all of it in. Um, 
Uh, yeah, I, that, that's like my biggest sort of recommendation. You're only going to get, if you're in Montreal, like 90 seconds to enjoy the entire thing. So uh, make sure you don't like aren't wasting it, fiddling with like camera settings and stuff like that. I would probably say if you're fiddling with camera settings by 15 seconds in, put the camera away and just try to try to remember it because you're not you're not going to see too many of these uh, in your life. Okay. I've only been talking 36 minutes and I'm nearing the end here. So that's, that's good. And my dog is, uh, he's, he's, he's chewing on things, but he hasn't made a, too much of a racket. So that's, that's good. Um, that's kind of it. That's all the information that I, 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 I have uh, 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 for this. There's, I don't think there's, there's a few comments, but not many questions uh, in the chat. That's fine. If you want to support my work, uh, I, I, making these live streams and, and writing blog posts and prepping all this info here in Montreal takes a lot of time uh, to do. So if you enjoy this, uh, if you want to make a one-time donation, you can go to buymeacoffee.com slash plateau astral. I'll put these in the chat in just a second here. You know, buy me a coffee. I'll use it. Jiminy, I did today. So that's good. If you consistently watch my stuff uh think about coming to montreal montreal a patreon supporter sort of a monthly uh supporter uh starts as low as 250 but goes up to 20 bucks a month say if you feel like it um there's perks and stuff like that uh i i i kind of want to be a good resource over the next year uh for this eclipse uh but it does take time and uh you can help me sort of make the best uh, eclipse possible for everybody everybody here um other thing I do workshops. You should come to workshops. Uh, it, 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 it does help. Uh, I'll put the link into the chat uh, in a second there. But I've got a bunch of workshops coming up. Uh, and I've got them all planned. Uh, ones to teach you the basics of astronomy and how to use the telescope, learning the moon phases. We go up and we watch a sunset. We try to watch a sunset differently and uh, try to teach you about the rotation of the Earth. Um, and some fun new ones. Uh, one called plane spotting, where I'm going to teach you to like, notice planes going by and get a sense of their speed and their altitude and learning about direction and navigation, all that. That's fun. Um, and newsletter. I have a newsletter. Everybody has one. This one is mine. Uh, just to sort of announce different, uh, more workshops that I'm doing and uh, uh, different blog posts and videos that I make. So if you want it, you should do it. You should sign up for it. I'll put these all in the chat in just a second. Um, questions. I don't really see any questions in the chat, but that's fine. Uh, but I will show this. This is Brilliant Info. We are coming from California with our kids watching. Woo! California. Okay. Yeah. California is not in the path of totality for this one. So that's, uh, that's good. Uh, yeah. Hopefully uh, the weather will work out uh, uh, for, uh, for you there. Uh, lol for Laval. Sorry, not sorry. I mean, I'm sure there'll be t-shirts made for that one. Um Great stream. Thanks, Trevor. No prob. No prob. I will put the links uh, to the things that I just mentioned into the chat here. Uh, so if you want to buy me a coffee, uh, there you go. Um, somebody asked, could you put the start, totality, and end time? Yes. Give me one second. I'll just put this. Here's my Patreon. Uh, if you want to help me uh, uh, keep doing what I'm doing, um, that certainly helps. Could you repeat the start, totality, and end times? Yeah, let me go through my my uh, my slides here. Just a little bit back here. Uh, time is. Give me one second. I will find it. I gotta go through all these animations. I apologize. Uh, I think at about two fifteen p.m. is when it starts. Religious experience, path of totality. Okay, this will take way too long. Give me one second. Uh, I will find it. When will this happen? There we go. Okay. Let me share my screen. Present. Share screen. There we go. When will this happen? Okay. So April 8th, obviously, we've said this so many times. Okay. Uh, the exact time for it. Uh, it's on a Monday. Eclipse starts 2.15 p.m. 2.15 p.m. Uh, on April 8th last week, I... Try to figure out how high in the sky the sun is. It'll be very high in the sky. So even if you're downtown, uh, uh, you, you should have a clear view if you just like, as long as you're not in the shadow of a building or something like that, it should be good. Totality is at 3.28 p.m., so around 3.30. Uh, that's when it uh, it will uh, it will be. And then it ends at 4.36. I'll be honest, probably after totality and <laughs> between the eclipse ending, 
that's probably where people are going to sort of peter off, take their glasses, throw them away and all that. Uh, but uh, uh, between 215 and 328, uh, probably 330, um, that'll be a really uh, cool, cool, uh, uh, cool, cool time for you. This reminds me, um, I'll answer some questions first, uh, but we'll actually have a practice uh, eclipse this October. Uh, I'm forgetting the date here. We're gonna have another partial eclipse. I can't believe I didn't put this in my slides. Uh, we'll have another uh, total, sorry, partial eclipse uh, in October. Uh, my girlfriend and I, we're actually not gonna be here for it. We're gonna be in Mexico for a wedding and they're getting married accidentally on the day of the uh, of the partial uh, uh, eclipse. So if you are doing photography for it, get that stuff before October. So you can start doing some, some practice stuff. It'll be visible in Montreal. Um, again, it's partial, kind of like June 2021, um, but that'll be that'll be a fun uh, fun fun day uh, as well. Dun, dun, dun. Any suggestions for flag places near Sherbrooke? Does being higher up help? Flag places. I might have to say, uh, what is a flag place? <laughs> um, uh, best places uh, to watch it. I'm going to assume that is the the, the question. Um, Flag place. Ooh, this is vexing. Uh, I'm going to stop this screen. I'm going to show that map uh, again. Uh, share the screen. I'm going to get off in just a few minutes here. Uh, window. I will take this. Yeah. Okay. And move that there. Okay. All right. So again, this is that map. Uh, I put the link in the chat. I'll do it again uh, right now, in fact. Minute. Flat. Flat. No. <laughs> <laughs> flat places, flat places, um, flat places. I don't really know uh, the area that well, um, but let's 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 just. I'll just show Sherbrooke and and uh, and uh, show you how um, um, how much time they get. So there's middle of Sherbrooke, Fleurement. Uh, Sherbrooke will get three minutes and twenty four seconds, basically about as, as as much time as 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 you can get. Um, a flat place could be cool, but as I mentioned before, um, maybe being on top of a hill might actually be kind of uh, cool for this. The reason why is that uh, um, 360 degree sunset. Um, if you're on a flat place, you'll get that, but if you're on a hill, you'll really get that, that experience. So uh, if you find a flat place and that works for you, you obviously do, do, do what you want. Uh, but maybe having a hill and uh, being on top of there, uh, you could try that out. So hopefully that uh, that's a good flag, flat place, flat place uh, for you. What are the chances of cloud cover? I heard it's roughly seventy five percent. Yeah, um, I think maybe in this website it shows that. Let me make that a little bit bigger uh, here. Duration, um, current cloud cover. Okay, uh, if not on this website, uh, there is time and date solar eclipse 2024. Uh, eclipse path map. Yeah, okay, here's another um, uh, eclipse eclipse map. Uh, I'll put that into the chat there. And when you tap on here, it'll show the sort of almanac uh, date uh, 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 weather forecast. Okay, so all these places, obviously, in the path of totality. Okay, the red area here. If you tap here, it shows you the same the same sort of info. You can't zoom in as much as the other one, though. Okay, shows you the duration of the entire eclipse, duration of totality, um, and then shows here this this day was cloudy sixty nine percent of the time since two thousand. Uh, nice or not so nice. Um, so that sort of helps you there. So Montreal, maybe not the best spot. If you really wanted to go and see this, maybe Mexico, this, this was 20% of the 27% of the time. Okay. Uh, if you're in Newfoundland, 70% of the time, uh, Nova Scotia is not at New Brunswick, 75% of the time. Okay. So that, that hopefully that also gives you, uh, gives you, gives you guidance here. I think there's something to be said for watching a eclipse where you live. Okay. Uh, obviously you could travel to, 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 uh, uh, different, different eclipses, which I had done. Okay. But being able to watch it sort of like where you call home, I think is an interesting, uh, interesting notion. So, uh, yeah. 
hopefully that helps you. All right, cool. Uh, I have talked for 46 minutes. I think that is pretty good. Uh, let me just load up my, uh, this will be my second total sun eclipse. The first one, I only had a few seconds totality, August 99. Going big for this one. All right, good, 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 good. I'm going to stop that screen and I will share my screen here. Blast through my notes here. And I will, oh, it just has a slide that says messy. That's it. <laughs> There we go. All right, share the screen, and uh, there we go. Thanks so much for watching. Um, yeah, uh, hopefully uh, this answers your questions, and maybe people will watch this sort of as we get closer and closer to the day. I'll probably do uh, another one uh, as we lead up closer to it, but hopefully that helps you out. Cool, awesome. Thank you, uh, thank you so much for uh, for for watching. All right, and uh, uh, yeah, good luck. <laughs>